Welcome back to Broken Electronics. I'm Lee. It is really good to be back here with you again today. Now, if you've followed this channel, and if you do, I am very grateful to you and thank you, you probably have figured out that I spend way too much time on eBay. Well, here's something I found on eBay a while back that I had to have. An Apple USB keyboard and the infamous Pup Mouse, both in purple or grape. And I just happened to own the matching iMac. So of course I had to buy those. Uh, now, I, I've been thinking what can I do to mark that occasion and possibly make a video out of it. Well, in another eBay session, I found this. You can see up there, it's, in, it's uh, written in 1999 iMac Install and Restore. and the stamp Cormier Elementary. I looked it up. Cormier Elementary is an elementary school in San Diego, still open. Back in 1999, they bought an iMac, probably a bunch of iMacs. <clears throat> I'm suspecting this was probably a teacher's computer in the classroom. And there's restore disks. Why don't you travel back to me as I take my great iMac G3 and return it to the operating system with which it initially shipped. Now, I find that kind of thing cool. Not everybody does. But if you do, please stay tuned. Well, here we have the desktop in macOS 9.2.2 on the iMac G3 and you might wonder why I want to backtrack to 8.6 I'll put OS 9 back on here you know no no real doubt about that um, but I, I just want to see what using these disks actually result in. Now, there are two. The one marked software install and the one marked software restore. Uh, I, now, I'm imagining, of course, the one marked install is the one that will install OS 8.6. So, let's pop that into the drive, see it mount up, yep, install Mac OS 8.6, uh, indeed. Uh, the other uh, CD, I am sure, will have all of the Uh, the software that came bundled on the machine. All right, so I'm going to shut it down. Now, last time I installed an operating system, I think I had a little trouble in holding down the C key, getting it to boot from the CD. But that's what the instructions say, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, I hear the TD drive spinning up. I have my questions about the CD drive. And of course, as is usual with the CRT monitors, we find the flickering that you see 
is not the flickering that I see. And yes, we're booting into Mac OS 8.6. So this will bring us to the CD. Which will take a while. And if you haven't seen the videos on this machine earlier and perhaps wondering why I'm not using a FireWire installer, no FireWire on this guy. The, the later slot loaders did, in fact, have FireWire. And as you can hear in the background, uh, I am on a weekend, and the motorcyclists come out for riding fun. At least there haven't been any entire motorcycle clubs go by today. The occasional motorcycle is no big deal. All right. I'm going to shut this clip down, and we will pick it up again once we have booted up onto the CD, because this is going to take a while. Stay tuned. Well, I may have saved you 20 seconds there. It actually booted up relatively quickly. Interesting. It says here about Mac OS 8.3. Oh, yes. And about the Mac OS 8.6 update. We should take a look at that just for fun. This tells us the things that are different. Okay. And that is something actually, oops, but quit some text. Let's look at about this computer quickly. You know, I was going to look for... what the ROM version was, but it doesn't seem to want to tell us. Well, what the heck. Let's install 8.6. Okay, now th th this computer has an eccentricity that Macs of this era do tend to have. Uh, the system software has to be on the first eight gigabytes of the drive. So what I've done with my 128 gig SSD is to partition it so that there's an eight gigabyte partition and then the data partition. All right, now it does not want to install. We're gonna perform a clean installation and we still can't select it. Okay. go to utilities and drive setup and we're going to initialize the disk now that's going to destroy everything that's on there well that's okay I'll just set it up again and in fact I'm going to set up OS 9 all right. Now that's interesting. It's going to set up Mac OS Standard. Let's go to Mac OS Extended. Okay, so we'll do that again. This will not take long. I'm trying to rename the disk, but it's not going to let me. 
The selected disk can be used as a startup disk only for PowerPC computers. Well, this is a PowerPC G3. And that appears to have done it. I mean, this is a little awkward. I can't really see the screen as I type. Okay, that now says Macintosh SSD. Okay. Destination disk. And now we can install. Okay. Make sure you have at least 20 megabytes of RAM installed in your computer. I took the thing apart, I promise. We have way more than that. Turn off any security software. Haven't got any. It's not a power book. Start a... Yeah, 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 yeah. We've done all of this. Continue. Software license. And start. Okay, it's saying 11 minutes off. Uh, this tends to go quickly, but then again, it's an optical drive and maybe a kind of questionable optical drive. So I will take pity on you. We'll be back when something further has happened. Stay tuned. All right. Installation process is finished. And, you know, it was just about 11 minutes right on the money. <clears throat> okay. Okay. If there's anything else on this to oh, okay. Let's restart the machine. I'm holding down the option button, which is supposed to eject the optical drive tray. It often doesn't work. I just wanted to avoid it possibly booting back onto the... Oh, it's not going to. Yeah, so it was searching a little bit, and it found, hopefully found the 8.6 installation we've just created. Again, I'm sorry about the flickering bend. Yes, in fact, we are right here. Oh, goody, the setup assistant. All right, look, I'm going to go through the setup assistant, then we'll take a look at what's on this computer. Uh, so please stay tuned. All right, setup's complete. Now, I'm going to take a look at about this computer. There's our 512 megabytes of memory. Uh... And we'll want to look at the system profiler. And I see in 8.6, the system profiler is a lot more like the system profiler in Mac OS 9 as opposed to the way it was in Mac OS 8.0 and 8.1. All right. Now I want to go to devices and volumes. One of the things I'm seeing yeah, it's not recognizing that data partition as existing. 
Um, that may be a limitation in OS 8.6. I really don't know. OS 9 certainly saw it. We'll go back to that. Oh! I see what it did. It formatted the entire drive as one partition. I had expected it was going to format just the one partition. Well, that's okay. We're going to be redoing all of this anyway. I should have been substantially more careful when I did that. All right. Okay, anything else we need to look at here? No, I don't think so. So we can quit out of the system profiler and come over here. See what kind of applications we've got. Not too darn much in applications at any rate. Internet. All right, we've got Internet Explorer. We've got Netscape Communicator. Outlook Express. Yeah, I mean, 1999, uh, Steve Jobs had made his deal with the devil and set Internet Explorer as the default. Uh, it, it's useless today. We will end up replacing that. And in Internet Applications, yeah, we're seeing all those same, same things. So those are clearly got to be uh, aliases. You're not showing me the info. Come on now. Do I have to specifically? Select general information. Yeah, yeah, now that's different than OS 9. OS 9, you just click get info and it would go right to this. Yeah, yeah, so what's what's in there? Just aliases. Uh, right then. Well, now there's one more thing that we do need to take a look at. And that's the software restore disk. See what's on that. So let's pop that into the drive. There, that's set now. Close it up. Let it spin up. Oh, yeah, I really was not expecting that it was going to... Huh. iMac README. Oh, we don't need to see that. No, software install README. Yeah, it's all the standard utilities. Apple Software Restore. This is not really what I was expecting. Now that's interesting. Yeah, I've been expecting that we'd find this, but yeah, this this then is is a recovery. Uh, which you'd think from restore, 
if your system becomes unbootable, you can use you can boot from this CD and just put uh, Mac OS onto it. Yeah, just to restore the system folder, etc., to to get it to be bootable again and leave whatever you've installed on there. Well, now that's interesting. Well, okay, where where I'm going to go from here? I'm I'm going to set this up some and play with it some. Uh, install some software, and then eventually simply go back to nine point two point two. But it has been an interesting thing to see this taking place. Uh, all right. Well, I, I think, you know, you if I find anything really interesting, once I've got this set up, maybe I'll make a separate video on it, but maybe not. I really just wanted to do a video that would feature this particular machine with its cool purple colors, purple speakers, purple everything else, and of course, purple mouse and purple keyboard. All right. So, in any event, thank you so much for joining me on this little tiny adventure. Uh, So please, please, be good to other people. Be good to yourselves. Take very good and careful care in these difficult times. And we'll be back with you again very, very soon with more things. This has been Broken Electronics.